Welcome back to my channel guys. So if you saw my last video, I had gone through and Marie condoed my socks and undergarments drawers. And when I first did it, I thought to myself, this is way too tedious. There's no way I'm going to be able to stick to this. But since that day, every time I open my drawers and I see my clothing folded like that, it is so relaxing and just brings me such a sense of calm and it looks so beautiful. I think I'm actually going to stick to it. I can't imagine not folding my clothing like that anymore. So today I wanted to actually go through and apply the KonMari method to other parts of my house. So if you guys are interested in seeing me transform the drawer in my kitchen that houses my dish towels and dishcloths, then stick around. So the KonMari method of folding a dish towel is essentially lying it flat and folding it in half lengthwise so that all of your tags are hidden and the pretty part of the fabric is facing out. You then go ahead and fold it over in half once more and then you fold it over in threes so that when you're done you can stand it up on its side in kind of a file folding method. So I went through and applied this principle to all of my tea towels and I have to say the results are so pleasing. I feel like I could just fold towels all day long. So the method to fold a face cloth or a dish cloth is pretty similar except that they are square instead of rectangular obviously. So the first thing you're going to do is lie it flat and then you're going to fold it in half so that any tags are hidden and the nice part of the fabric is showing. You're then going to fold it in half the other direction twice so that it ends up looking the same as the dish towels do. After you're done this, they look so aesthetically pleasing, it drives you crazy and it makes you want to do the same thing to every other towel in your house. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and put them away in your drawers in any manner that you like. So this was my first time putting them away, so I kind of experimented a little bit and I found that I actually like the way it looks from largest to smallest. So that's pretty much it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stick around for some future content. And I think I'm going to go through and Marie Kondo the rest of my house because I'm so happy with the way that this looks. It just looks so neat and tidy and I just want to do it to everything else I own. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.